um okay so the tree diagram was done for this question and uh, yes. next find the probability that both selected are white okay find the probability that uh, both selecting white white balls again take a look at the question in a bag there are four white balls okay and uh, two red balls two red balls one ball is selected at random removed and replaced by a ball of the other color okay one ball is selected and it it was removed from the bag and again replaced actually what is replaced means replaced means after uh, observing that ball you are putting the same ball into that bag but here in this problem the same ball same ball was not replaced instead of that they are uh, uh, getting a new ball from somewhere and that ball will be placed in the bag again that other color ball is placed in the bag again that means every time the bag consists six balls are there okay so the bag is then shaken and another ball is randomly selected so how many attempts they are doing two two attempts actually first observe the problem then we will do the questions okay so a person is there what he is doing a bag is there okay so how many white balls four how many red color balls two is that the question uh yeah okay so he is attempting he is attempting uh to select a ball from that he is attempting to select a ball from the bag understood so yeah. he selected a bag from that and if it was white if it was white he is throwing that ball away from the bag away from back and after that he is he is selecting one more other color other color ball and putting that uh, ball that means he is removed removed that ball selecting first attempt back uh, first attempted ball removed that and uh, he is gathered somewhere i don't know where he is getting that ball maybe he is has so, so much balls in stock <laughs> he is gather some other color ball and uh, he is replacing he is replacing with the uh, other color ball to that bag again he is making one more attempt one more attempt to draw a ball from the bag understood the movie yeah yeah okay so this is the process there going on and uh, the bag is then shaken after uh, uh, dropping a new ball to that bag the bag was fully shaken another ball is randomly selected again he is selecting one more ball from that bag okay then you have to calculate the respective probabilities understood yeah okay uh, this is a tree diagram we already done find the second question find the probability that both balls selected are white so both are white so first 
that means first white and also second white tell me the probability for that how many uh, balls are there initially six balls are Four there out of Four plus two, six balls are there in the initially. So write down the total happening situations. Six events out of you are drawing one ball from that bag. So it will be six E1. Understood this six E1? And yes. we want uh, first attempt should be white. So how many white balls is there? Four. Four. So write down four C1. Okay. Again. Again, six balls is there, right? Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Because in the meanwhile, what he is doing, he is throwing the white ball away and he is dropping one more red color ball on that. Again, six balls are ready for a second attempt selection. A ball from the ba uh, back. And again, he wants, to, he wants. Now tell me the composition of the second back, uh, second attempt. In the first attempt, the bag contains four white, two red. In the second attempt, after drawing white ball from the first attempt, what is the second attempt composition? White or three? Red, red or red three? three? Red three. Because you are dropping one more ball from the outside. Again, six balls are available. But in the second attempt also, you have to draw a white ball from that. And how many white balls is there? Three. Understood? Yeah. Okay, now calculate this is the correct answer. So 4C1 means how much? 4 out of 6. 3C1 is 3 and out of 6. Understood? 1 over 3. Yeah. Yeah, you can cancel 3 and 6 2 times 1 time. 2 goes to cancel into 2 times and 1 time. So the probability is 1 by 3. Understood? Yeah. Find the probability that the second ball selected is white. First ball, there is a choice. That means first ball will be a choice. Second ball should be white. Okay? Now we will do the process. First ball, we don't know. Second ball uh, should be white. Understood? Yes. So first ball we don't know means. <laughs> it can be either red or white. Yeah, there is a choice. You can do that in the double ways. Okay, let us uh, move with the strategy that uh, first ball is uh, white. First ball white. And second ball always white, remember. Uh, do this or 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 means uh, mathematically plus. Uh, first ball should be red. Second ball should be white always. Understood? Yeah. Uh, these are the choices you have to make. Now let me know that what is first ball is white? 4 over 6. 4 over 6. Remember and think about the process what we have done. And second ball should be white. 3 by 6? Three, 3 over 6. Next. Okay. Now that ball ends. And one more choice is there. Okay, now this time, again, fresh attempt. Again, this is a second is a fresh attempt. Uh, draw red yeah. ball first. Draw a red ball first. 2 over 6. Okay. 3. It, it's going to be 5 over 6. 5 over 6. Because uh, you are throwing red ball away and uh, dropping one more white ball. And now the composition, new composition, white balls are 5. Actually, initially it was 4. And one more is added. Next page. Example 34. Greg and Jack are playing in a golf tournament. 
they will play two rounds and uh, each has equal chances of winning the first round okay golf tournament golf means you know yeah uh, they are um, taking a stick like this a ball is there and uh, there will be a hole and they will throw that ball to the hole that is a golf game they have equal choices choice of winning is 1 by 2 why 1 by 2 because two players are there so that's why 1 by 2 1 by 2 winning chances and failure chances is also same 1 by 2 1 by 2 that's what he says will uh, they will play two rounds and each has equal chances of winning the first round the first round has 1 by 2 1 by 2 chance first round okay yeah and a greg wins the first round his probability of winning second round is increased to 0.6 uh winning greg he is a greg and what's his name jock this is 0.6 winning and tell me for a failure loss 0.4 yeah this is a tree okay and for this winning and loss make it like this okay and greg goes uh if greg losses first round oh greg losses first round first round first round his probability of winning second round reduces to 0.6 0.3 okay if he losses uh, he it is winning and he has lost loss probability is also 1 by 2 okay i will show you in a detail man no? he is greg his winning chance losing chance in the first round okay and in the second round winning chance losing chance and winning chance losing chance understood yeah so for each first round the probabilities are same 1 by 2 1 by 2 winning and losing greg loss means uh, jock is winning right understood that yeah both two players are playing one player is loss means the other player is winning no right yeah yeah, yeah. in that way you have to understand this question if it is uh, in the first round he wins what is the chance of winning second round 0.6 0.6 and loss is 0.4 and this is 0.3 and this is 0.7 yeah this is the given question draw the t diagram of two round sequence label each branch of the diagram appropriate probability okay we already done that and find the probability that greg wins exactly one round Can you show me the diagram again? Okay. Yes. Can I explain this again? Yeah. No, I just wanted to write it down. I didn't write it down. I understood it. As yourself, you can write. There is yeah. no rules and regulation to draw this diagram. Yourself, uh, for understanding purpose, you are drawing this. That's all. uh find the probability that greg wins exactly one round exactly one round means one so what is exactly winning round. of greg one round exactly only one round not two rounds one round exactly one round win okay we will give opportunity to win uh, first round first win second fail okay or or 
because only exactly only one round he will win so we give the opportunity to first round will win second round will loss or fail or you can also make that first first round loss and second round he can win understood understood this scenario yeah what is first round winning 1 by 2 what is second round fail he has to fail in second or both should not win what is the he win and fail 0.4 so the mapping is this way he has you have to map this understood this scenario yeah 1 by 2 and point 4 first round win second round loss okay yeah again first round loss first round loss means 1 by 2 again and he should win in the second round point 3 understood this will be point 5 into point 4 and this is also point 5 And point three. How much is this? Point two zero <clears throat> plus point one five. Point one five. So add two there, two of them. Point three five. Point three five is the answer. Conditional probability. So. we defined in mathematics especially in probability plus what is plus means or or and it is also denoted with union you can say a union b for example okay or in sentences at least one of them at least one of a comma b also it means union and plus or or you can also call it one of a comma b these are all indicates to do plus in probability understood yeah yeah what is multiplication in probability this is also often denoted with dot are also denoted with a intersection b intersection um in english it is called both and also it is denoted with and 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 also you can call it uh, simultaneously all these are indicating to do intersection or multiplication in probability okay and next yeah. minus minus means for example if you say a minus b that means only a or also it is called a but not b or this is also called a intersection b bar b complement okay and the formula for this is p of a minus b the formula is p of a minus p of a intersection b you have to do this for calculating only a a but not b a intersection b bar or a minus b this is the formula you should use okay p means probability a minus b means only a probability of only a probability of a but not b probability of a intersection b bar so all are equal to p of a minus p of a intersection b understood this So now look yeah. at the symbols. We defined plus multiplication minus. Now coming to the point division. A by B or A slash B. This means. This means. A will happen. A will happen after. after b for example uh, for real life you can understand this a by b situation as uh, 
10th after 11th class okay 10th after 10th is first uh, no one uh, uh, giving you admission uh, they give you admission after 10th only right for 11th yeah <laughs> so this kind of events are denoted as conditional events so a by b is called conditional event conditional event out of a by b out of a comma b if you write If you write A by B, then B will happens first. B will happens first, then after A happened. Uh, the definition is as follows. P of A by B equal to. P of A by B equal to P of A intersection B by P of B. This denominator should be written like this. Understood? And yes. uh, provided P of B not equal to 0. That means B is, is not impossible event. It is not impossible event. Okay. So if it was equal to zero, it is called impossible event. Not equal to zero means is not impossible event. Okay. And similarly, you can define P of B by A also. P of B by A is also same as P of A intersection B by P of A, provided P of A should not zero. For uh, independent for a comma b are independent independent we know that independent situations what is independent when you are calling two situations are independent if p of a intersection b equal to p of a to p of b then they are said to be independent for the independent case p of a by b was same as <clears throat> write down the definition p of a in section b by p of b p of a in section b is nothing but p of a into p of b divided by p of b you can cancel p of b together and the result is p of a that means for independent case p of a by b is same as p of a similarly P of B by A is also same as P of B for independent situations, not other situations. Okay. And uh, now, mm -hmm. how to identify in the question if it was a conditional uh, event? Words, words that indicates. conditional probability number one if 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 you found any if in the question then it means it is a conditional event next given that given that also indicates you conditional situations and known that known that and fourth one is assumed to assumed to uh, and some other words actually after reading the question you will understand that one should be considered one should be the first thing one means the first thing should be known and using that 
using that you have to calculate you have to calculate you have to calculate next event probability okay one thing yeah. was known you understand that if after uh, reading that question you will understand you get that uh, one thing will be known and other thing should be calculated that kind of situations are all conditional events so if the probability of event a occurs when it is known that other event uh, b is already occurred we write this as p of a by b or you can also call this a given b has occurred imagine we have rolled a single die and uh, a has uh, five to a rolled these numbers and b rolled these numbers six uh, no one is rolling so what is the probability event a has occurred given that b has a we write this one as p of a by b the probability given a uh, a given b so a by b read as a given b okay yeah How many on P? A four events. One, two, four, five. Four events out of six. <coughs> B is throwing three events out of six. Yeah. Then P of A by B is two out of six out of three out of six. That is that probability. understood yeah 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 i got it now okay we will do some questions uh from a set of 15 cards number 1 to 15 one card is drawn one at card. random what is the probability that a multiple of 3 and 5 are both so let us assume that uh, a is a set of multiple 3 so multiples of 3 as 3 6 9 12 15 12, 15. so n of a equal to 5 and b is a event of multiple of 5 so 5 10 15 what is both multiples of 15 right yeah uh, so both means a intersection b A in section B equal to only fifteen. Now, if A in section B is equal how much? Only one. Okay. So find A in section B. So write down. We will write like this. A in section B equal to what is A? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Intersection. What is B? Five, ten, fifteen. Five, ten, fifteen. What are what are the common elements? Fifteen only. Fifteen. So we will write that only. Fifteen. A in section B is we write the same thing. Yeah. What is n of A in section B is asking? Only one. Yeah. Find A union B. What is A? Three six nine twelve fifteen. Union B is five ten fifteen. Five ten. If you do union, you have to mix them all. Uh, ten, twelve, fifteen. Understood? Yeah. What is A union B? Enough A union B. Three five six. Six elements, right? Three, six, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen. 
Understood? Yeah. Three. Three, six, six nine, nine, twelve, ten, fifteen. Six elements. Okay. Is isn't it seven? Oh. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, five, and ten. Five we are missing. Wait, wait. We, we we are not including. Yeah, five is also there. Seven. Okay. Yes. Now, what is n of a and n b? How much is n of a and n b? What is n of s? N of s is total fifteen. This is the probability of a union b. Okay, so what is yeah. a by b? A by b, you know, p of a intersection b by p of b. What is p of a intersection b? Seven. Only one. Only one. How many of b? Three. B. So that is the answer. Now look at this P of B by A. A in section B is one. What is N of A? Five. Five. This is the answer. Understood? Yeah. Now consider if the set from the previous example. Only fourteen cards, number from one to fourteen. Draw the Venn diagram of the representation of this data. But uh, one to fifteen. Three multiples, five and both. Okay. The same question you have to consider, but one to fourteen. A means three multiple. B means which multiple? Five multiple. Five multiple. Okay, write down here. What is set A? Three, three, six, nine, six, twelve. Nine, twelve. That's it, right? Because we are having only fourteen elements. Only fourteen. Yeah. What is B? Five, Five ten. ten. That's it, right? There is no common, yeah. right? Three, six, nine, yeah. twelve. And here five and ten. So what are none? One, two, four, five is included. Six is included. Seven is not there. Eight is not there. Right? Nine is included. Ten days. Ten is included. Eleven is not included. Twelve included. Thirteen not included. Fourteen not included. Understood? Yeah. These are our none. Uh, he is asking, "What is A intersection B? A is three, six, nine, twelve. Intersection B is five, comma ten. There is no common, so five. Understood? Yeah. Uh, what does this mean for P of A by B? A probability of A given B. That is the meaning of that. And we will calculate the value also. P of A by B. Can you tell me the definition uh, formula? P, P of, of A, A intersection, intersection B, B by P of, P of B. B. What is P of A intersection B? Zero. What is P of B? Two. Two. Answer is zero. 
ओके अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन या नाउ थर्टी नाइन फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन इन योर स्कूल हैव डॉग ओके थर्टी परसेंट हैव कैट एटीन परसेंट हैव डॉग एंड कैट what percent does uh, who have dog also have a cat 18% both right yes what percent does uh, who, who have cat also have a dog okay mm, okay we will do uh, in a different manner write down intersection in the numerator he is mentioning dog so dog percentage is how much 45 45 write down 45 divide with 45 and this one 30 30 okay percentage percentage cancel you can cancel this fraction in nine table two out of five also you can cancel in nine um, nine table uh nine table you cannot make it two table only right this is 15 yeah. this is 9 by 15 and again three table three you can table. cancel three out of five so look at this two by five three by five if you add this uh, you will get um, for making uh, percentages you should uh, he is asking what percent is you have to multiply with 100 now tell me the answer 40%. 40 percent and this will be 60 percent 60 percent 